everybody today i'll be talking a little bit about my dog um and how long i have her what type of dog she is and how she is to start off her name is bella she's a miniature poodle she's a miniature poodle and she's a color white um she has been with us since she was five years old since she was born she is five years old now and we love her a lot I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how she is and she's a really good dog she has separation anxiety which um little by little we've learned how to deal with um she doesn't have it that severe but she does have it it's not that bad um but I'll put a little clip I'll put a little clip in here so you guys can see it and um I will also be telling you guys a little bit about how small she was when I got her she was like this big and weighed like close to a pound but she wasn't a pound yet and I think you guys can see her in the back it's right there I'll show you guys right now <laughs> the close up how she looks um she weighed less than a pound and she was the rent of the litter which pretty much means out of the whole litter she was the smallest and she was a little bit sick not excessive but she has a cleft palate which that pretty much means that the top of her mouth didn't close correctly there's a little gap between and um, that little gap sometimes if she eats kibble gets stuck there something pointy it um bothers her it might cause her nose to bleed a little bit but um nothing extremely serious i want to say because um uh, even though she gets that she's perfectly fine and we haven't um had any issues with her eating or drinking she's perfectly fine with it um and she's doing great she's healthy and i also wanted to tell you guys a little bit about her separation anxiety um she was um when she was given to us she already had it and i don't understand how she got it to begin with but a lot of a lot of posts that i've read have said that it's due to them not being as close to their mother as they should have been because since she was small she was not fed by her mother i think she was fed by a bottle because she had her cleft palate so she didn't know how to drink milk because she would choke so this happening she didn't really get to be attached to her mom and since they separated from her separated her from her mother she has like a fear that they're gonna abandon her and due to this she has toys that she sucks on and um i know that sounds weird but she grabs toys and let me see if i can find it like this this is a regular stuffed thing and like any stuffed sort of ball she just grabs it with her mouth and she will st start suckling on it and um that helps her deal with her anxiety like it calms her down and um yeah that helps her a lot and um she's been doing good with her separation anxiety but on and off she's um sometimes she gets it more sometimes she doesn't get it as much um but um something we had to deal with on and off it's not really hard but um you guys take her to the park and she'll be fi fine with everybody, every dog. She tries to play with dogs. She tries to go ahead and, um, she tries to play with dogs and she's very friendly. And you can pretty much throw her in a pile of anything and she'll adapt. And she'll go ahead and conquer the situation. She gets along with everybody. Like, I've had a cat before and she was perfectly fine with him with her I mean <laughs> and um she was taking care of her like it was her her own because um I rescued the cat from the street and she took care of her and when we would shout bait the, sh the cat my dog Bella would start screaming to try and take her out of the shower and um they were really close um I also had had dogs with her and she gets along with them very well she's kind and um she just loves everybody everybody wants to play with her she's fine with it i take her to the park children pet her she's perfectly fine with it 
I thought that it was just my dog that is more nurturing and kind, but I have heard that the poodles in general are gentle. And um, I have also heard a little bit about how um, like my dog loves to cuddle. Every time you want to go to sleep, she'll be there with you. And um, I thought it was just her, but I've heard from other people that their dogs are the same. So the miniature poodles is a really nice breed to have, and they're very kind and gentle. And I'm going to go get her real quick so we can see her. Come on. So this is Bella. She's looking out the window. Uh, she's five years old. Say hi. You can see now she's big. She used to be like as big as her head. And now. Let me see if she lets me. This is her. She's big now. Um, she's a really picky eater, that I will tell you. Careful. And, um, she only eats chicken or turkey. <laughs> but I think it's just, every dog has its taste and its taste buds that they prefer. But she's a really good dog, so if you guys are thinking about getting a dog, I would suggest getting a miniature poodle. They're very nice and they're small. I want to go ahead and tell you guys, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And... If you want to see any more future videos of me, please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye!